Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over data link for the A10. So first you turn the data link on by making sure this switch here is flipped up at JTRS. So let's go over some data link symbols. If you see a green circle with a line sticking out, that means it's a friendly A10 or another friendly aircraft. If you see a purple circle with a line sticking out, that means it's a friendly A10 in your flight. Unfortunately it's hard to see because my plane is covering it, but you should be able to see a purple circle right there. If you see a white cake symbol, that is your speed. If you don't know what the speed is, you can watch my tutorial. If you see a smaller white cake symbol, that is a friendly aircraft speed. And lastly, if you see a small green X, that is a friendly ground unit. You can also see all the data link symbols with your helmet mounted display. Okay, so now let's go over changing your group and individual number. So on your TAD, if you click the net button down here, you can change the data link settings. There's two IDs, the group ID and your own ID. The group ID is like the flight that you're in and your own ID is your position in that flight. Right now you can see I'm in group ID 57. If I wanted to change that, I just type in the flight I wanna be in. So let's say 47 and then I click group ID. So now I'm in flight 47. If, you, if I wanted to change my own ID, let's say I was flight member two, I would type 02 and then click own ID. So now I'm in flight 47, uh, number two. You can also change your call sign by coming over to your computer and typing in your call sign. I'll just be ABC, and then you can click the call button, and now my call sign is ABC. When you're done messing with this, you can click the tad button to go back. You can see the ID of any friendly member on the display by putting your cross over him, and then on the bottom it'll say TN, that's their number. So the first two numbers are their own ID. So you can see his own ID is 72 and the second two is the group. So you can see right here, this guy is in group 23 and his own ID is 72. Okay, so now let's go over broadcasting your SPI. So let's say my SPI is over here on waypoint three and I wanna broadcast it. What you can do is hold TMS to the left. This is the TMS switch on your stick. You hold it to the left and you can see on the top it'll say SPI on. So now all the other A10s in the game can see my speed. If you wanna stop broadcasting, you just hold it to the left again, and now it says speed off. Unfortunately, you can't turn it on and off by just clicking this, it won't work. The other thing to note is that right now I'm in the A10C2. If you're in the original A10C, then the key bind is actually different. For the original A10C, it's actually the DMS switch, which is this one right here. You would hold DMS to the left. If somebody is broadcasting their SPI, it will show up on your map and it will show up as the same as the SPI symbol, but it will be smaller. All right, so now I'll go over how to send messages. If you want to send messages, you can come over here to the message page. First thing you need to do is type in the ID of the person you wanna send the message to. First you type in their own ID and then you type in their group ID. If you're not sure what their ID is, you can come over to your TADS and you can put your cross on top of the person and it will give you their TN number at the bottom here, and that's their, their ID. So his ID is 0109. So I'm gonna come to my upfront controller and type in 0109, and then click the two button. So now I need to actually um, put my message in. So I come to my computer here and type my message. So once you've typed your message in, you just come up here and click mod text. So now you have your message line. You can add as many message lines as you want to. And when you're ready to send it, you can use these arrows to put the arrow onto the line that you wanna send, and then you click the send button. So this guy right here, I have no idea who he is, but I just sent him a message. If somebody sends you a message, um, you'll get some notifications on your left and right screen that says new message. You can come to your message page and click received, and you'll see all the messages that somebody sent you. By the way, if someone sends you a message and you get the new message alerts, and you wanna get rid of those alerts, you can just press the target management switch, which is this one. You press it once to the left and the notifications will go away. Okay, so now I'll go over how to task someone a target. So first, you need to put your SPI on where the target is. Once again, if you don't know what I mean by SPI, you can watch my tutorial for that. For example, let's say my target is on mark point A here. So you can see I put my SPI where my target is. Now what I need to do is I need to send the target to someone. So I put my cross on the person I wanna send the target to. So let's send it to this guy right here. What I need to do is hook him. If you don't know how to hook someone, you just come to your stick and you press TMS up like this. And the way that you'll know they're hooked is because whenever you move your cross away, all the information about them here will stay. So once you've hooked someone, you just click this send button here. 
and now I've sent him a target. If somebody sends you a target, you will get a message that you just received a target and you will get a red triangle on your map that will show where the target is. So the last thing to go over with the data link is JTAG. Okay, so now let's call the JTAG to get some targets. First, make sure the right frequency is typed into your radio. Then open the radio menu and click JTAG and click check in. Whenever he asks you if you're ready for a nine line, just click ready to copy. Whenever he asks you ready for remarks, just say ready to copy. Ready. Then you say nine line read back. Six, so then you'll see you'll get this message that says new tasking and on your map it says attack at the top. What you can do here is it says Wilco or CNTCO. Um, so if you don't want to attack this target, just say that CNTCO. But if you do, then go ahead and say Wilco. Whenever you say Wilco, then on your map, you can see the red circle will show up and the red circle is where your target is. You can hook the red circle and you can make it your speed. The other thing to note is that when he was talking to us, he gave us a bunch of information. Now you don't actually have to write that to down because he sends it to you. You go to your message page and click received here up top and you can see here's a bunch of information about the target. We also have this notification that says new message. Um, if that gets annoying, you can get rid of it by clicking TMS left on your stick like this and you can see the notification went away. You can also see the red triangle symbol on your heads up display. Thanks for checking out this video on Datalink and I'll see you later.